Hi guys and Merry Christmas Eve. I cannot believe it's Christmas Eve. I feel like Christmas is so different as an adult versus when you're a kid. I was talking about with my brother last night. Like, I don't know. I just feel like Christmas is a lot more magical when there's like kids involved. And I definitely will say I'm like ready for that portion of my life. But anywho, I am sitting outside of the mall right now waiting for my brother to get off. He worked on Christmas Eve and we're gonna head over to my dad's for Christmas Eve. Um, I have some presents back there. You guys, I got ready for the first time in so long today. I have not put, like, I feel like, I feel like I haven't gotten dolled up in, like, a while. Like, I'm trying to think of the last time. Maybe I went to Arizona for my cousin's bachelorette party. No, I feel like I've got ready maybe once or twice after that. Like, I feel like I never put makeup on anymore. And sometimes you put makeup on and you're, like, loving it. And then other times I feel like a clown when I'm wearing it. Today I'm, like, loving it. Like, I'm happy that it turned out the way it did. Um, I kind of did what I usually do but used a few different products. Um, and then I am wearing the little Zara blouse in these Spanx, like, pleather-ish leggings. Um, I have had these leggings for, like, three years and I've never worn them. Today is literally my first day I've ever worn them. But they're really nice. They literally, because their Spanx brand, suck everything in. And they look like kind of shiny. This is not a very good representation of them. Um, but, and then I literally have on my, <laughs> literally have on these. Because <laughs> I don't care and I want to be comfortable. Like, I am not doing I'm not gonna put on boots to go like trot around my dad's house. Like I don't need to do that. There's no reason. You're lucky you got me in a blouse. I just because I love like this color. Um, but but yeah, I am just waiting for my brother to get out so that we can drive together. Um, and I'm also gonna go pick up a honey baked ham. They close literally in three. My camera cut me off. I need to seriously go through my storage. But I'm about to go pick up a honey baked ham. I already reserved it though, so I just need to go in and grab it. Um. So I'm starving though. I'm like really ready to eat. Spent the whole morning literally wrapping. Um, I wrapped a ton of presents today. Um, and I had breakfast, we with the fam, and we just like watched football and literally just hung out. Like we had a very chill, and that's what tomorrow will be like too for sure. Um, we'll open presents, we'll have breakfast, and we'll literally probably just watch like a movie. Uh, we want to watch The Night Before, which I haven't seen yet. My parents have seen Night Before. It's with Seth Rogen, and I forget the other two. Um, I was just said characters. <laughs> Actors in it. Well, Seth Rogen is a character. I love Seth Rogen. But, um, I'm just looking at everyone. The mall is really crowded, by the way, you guys. Like, the parking lot's literally full. It looks like a Saturday at the mall. You would never think it's almost 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve, but I literally got, like, I'm, like, near the front. Like, I, I just got really lucky someone was pulling out, and I was like, oh, yes. But, um, yeah, my parents want to watch The Night Before tomorrow. I love watching A Christmas Story, too, on Christmas. That's, like, my jam. You'll shoot your eye out. Um, so, just a chill Christmas and Christmas Eve. But today for my little lip combo, I did Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury, which is, like, my favorite. Um, I did a little bit of Platinum by Lawless. I love her, like, look that she has going. If you guys have don't know of the brand Lawless or you... Uh, haven't heard of it. It's from her name is Annie Lawless. It's a clean beauty makeup brand and I follow her on Instagram I just like I love her life. Honestly, um, so I'm wearing platinum by her the lipstick and then I'm wearing oyster girl by Mac on top Okay, and you know what mascara I used today, which I stole from my mom <laughs> She was like <laughs> She walked in she's like why'd you use my dry texture spray and then she's like looks at I literally took her mascara and used it It's like having a sister my mom is literally the equivalent of having a sister and stealing their stuff I used her it cosmetic superhero mascara and that stuff is bomb I did that and then I did a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes and That's a good lash combo because my Dior show mascara that I love so much is literally so dried out and crusty and rusty So I had to like I had to use a different mascara. So I took my mom's and then I mixed it with my full fat lashes, but Loving her. Then for eyeliner, I used my old, old, old eyeliner from Urban Decay called Corrupt. I just sharpened it up. Used that in the waterline and flicked like a little wing out. Um, and yeah. But yeah, I feel like my blush is literally gone. I feel like I put so much blush on and then I like, I'm in my house and I'm like, oh my god, that's scary. And then I walk out and I'm like, I have no blush on. So rude. Um, but yeah, gonna head to my dad's. I will see you guys tomorrow. Wait, you know what I noticed when I was doing my makeup too? My forehead is so shiny from my Botox being fresh. I don't know why this happens, but, but like whenever I get Botox, I know this is, because I've Googled it, like it happens, it's a common thing. And my friend Elena and I always talk about it. 
our foreheads get so shiny and glistening like right after Botox and I don't know why it is I feel like I read some articles but I've just oh it's just look at that it's like glistening it's great it's like a natural highlight I love it I wish I could have like the shininess right there too but I noticed that when I was getting my um <laughs> when I was doing my makeup I was like damn I actually need to powder I hate one thing about me I'm not a huge huge translucent powder powder person which I should be because I'm oily and it'll set my makeup better but I just it's so hard for me to get like past that like I feel like I'll set like areas of my face and I'm like oh my god like my face is so looks so dry and powdery like I need to spray it and so I sp end up spraying it with fix plus and like giving it some life still and it's fine after like an hour but like at first I'm like oh so powder for me is hard to use, but I love the Charlotte Tilbury finishing or pressed powder. I mean, um, in shade two, that's what I use. All right, bye. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, it's 9.15, it's Christmas Eve. I'm wrapping my last two presents. Could not wait for Bear to open this. I think this wrapping paper is my favorite. I also like this silver one. Look at how good of handwriting my mom has. So good. But yeah, I think this. Oh, and I also love, I got these from Hobby Lobby last year, these little wreaths, and I literally hang them off the bow. Like it's a little, um, which one? to sunny um i hang it off the little bow like it's hanging hmm i wonder who these are for this looks like a little lip gloss <laughs> this will fit in this little scraps of hooligan pile we have over here so i got this for my stepdad and i thought it was really cute i ordered it off etsy and it's a warrior's ornament i thought it was really cute and like sparkly um i love to gift like an ornament i feel like this is actually i love to gift. this is the first year i've gotten anyone ornaments i got one for my mom and i got one for my stepdad and i just think it's cute oh i love the sparkles with my nails whoop i'm gonna wrap this in this little scrap i have it'll fit perfect um but i just think it's nice because then like every year when you're decorating the christmas tree you remember like oh so-and-so got me this this year or whatever and then you just think of the person so i feel like it's really i don't know it's nice but i'm gonna wrap this as my last one hey, good night guys we'll see you in the morning wow you actually did a pretty good train He's opening it, you guys. He's literally opening it. Oh, what is this? What is this? Did he bring spinning to this offense? Watch the show that he's the one.